Hey, hey, everybody. Mountain Dew Mania here, and welcome back to Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. We're with our buddy Perot here, and we are already elbow deep in a mystery. <clears throat> Let's get things loaded up here. Now, Lady owns this tobacco shop and was murdered in her shop. So, she did have a bag of strawberries, and we're going to assume they came from this lady right over here. So, let's go check her out uh, and see what she has four to... Four pens of lettuce, a lovely large lettuce, four pens only. Okay, well now, let's see what we can observe about uh, this lady. This woman appears to be a smoker. She does. Okay. Okay, full ashtray. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Mm-hmm. I would think so. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Hmm. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And oh, you'll hear about Alice's hey. murder, I suppose. Hey. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Hmm. Please, try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Hmm. I know that Alice Asher bought strawberries from you yesterday. Well, you know more than I do, then. Good. Run along now. I have work to do. Oh. Miss Rude. Wow. What the heck, man? You know... Oh, you again? I've nothing to say. Oh, ouch. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Hey, Poirot. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. Yeah, why don't you go over there and sort her no, out? please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. Goodness, man. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Uh -oh. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let us hmm. now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, let's try. What are we doing? Was Mrs. Asher killed on sight? Well, that's pretty obvious. There was a, The blood around her head was perfect. Um, it was. It hadn't been stepped in. It had, I mean, it was perfect. Body was found. It doesn't... There were no marks on the floor. She hadn't been moved. She was right there. So, it's obvious she was killed. Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Yeah. That's that's pretty obvious. All right, let's see if we can go talk to this niece. Maybe time we do that chicka man, she's nasty. Uh-oh. Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. Yeah. His attention is commendable. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can... Is our grief sincere? Well, I hope so. I mean... Black clothes. And lowered eyes. Um, she handkerchief. appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks fragile. Fragile. Hmm. Well. I mean, it's pretty quick, though. Let's see. Uh, let's t I don't want to you demand. You are very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Your aunt did not have any children. Is that correct? No. She was separated from her husband. What do you think about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Hmm. Hmm. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Well, okay. Hmm. Did your aunt enjoy good airs? She had a bad throat, but she was well cared for by a doctor in London. Hmm. Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but uh -oh. he used to be a very good cabinet maker. Hmm. What does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Wonder how much that is. Hmm. Why did she support such a goods for nothing? Yeah. He was a husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. Yes, she could. <laughs> I understand. You have been of great assistance, mademoiselle. You jerk, man. Sure you can. No. Hastings? Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jeff says. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. That makes sense, yeah. You're not going to kill your... Your... What would it be? Allowance? <laughs> oh, let's see. I read somewhere I get ego points every time I get Perot to fix his mustache in a mirror. So I got to keep a lookout for mirrors. Hmm. So. So what, she just basically just pay him to stay away? Uh-oh. Hello. Goodness, thanks alive. We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. <laughs> that must be some way of sobering him up. Oh. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Okay. Um, hmm. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to yeah. sober him up. Okay. What's over here? You made a mess, I see that. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Okay, what is this? What people Bodley. owe her? The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Mm. Mary Drower was telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> A box of new stockings. Okay. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's see what's... All right, let's go back over and see if this lady will talk to us now that maybe the chief inspector has talked to her. Hmm. Let's see if this is I am accusing you of the murder of Mrs. Asher. What? It wasn't me! According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. Uh-huh. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. Uh-huh. How do you figure? Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me 11 pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. Mm -hmm. She owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Yeah. Do you want to go to prison? Uh -huh. Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. Mm -hmm. In that case... I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Yeah. There you go. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. 
At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. Okay. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. So she could already been dead behind the counter. Hmm. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was always a railway guide on the counter. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not alarmed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. Mm -hmm. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Hmm. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Mm -hmm. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. Okay. So, the streets were full. Hmm. Hmm, what is that? I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. But try not to empty the bottle. Okay. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Uh-oh. Got to think here. All right. Can we establish the time range during which Mrs. Asher was killed? Okay. The body was found about 11. Okay. She was seen alive at 5.30. Head. That's she. So last time anybody saw her was, and nobody is the um no no um. Hold that! Come on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me go back to that one. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see. The body was found at eleven. Okay. And she was seen alive at 5.30. Okay. So she was killed between... Uh, can we reduce this time? Okay, let's see. Back of her head. She didn't see anybody at 6. Okay, that makes sense. I will not obtain anything else. Okay. Alright, so I guess we will wrap this up here. Uh, I guess now we've got to figure out how to sober up the husband and get him to talk. Because I think this lady has said just about all she's going to say to us. <laughs> so this is uh, the ABC Murders. And we are with our friend Perot here. This is Agatha Christie Mystery. I love these. This is probably the only one I haven't played. Um, I'm such a huge fan. But let me know in the comments below if you love mysteries like Nancy Drew, uh, Sherlock Holmes, things like that. And uh, if you do, tell me your favorite down in the comments. I'll see if I've played it or not. So until next time, this is Mountain Dew Mania, and I'm so out of here. Bye, guys.